Hi everybody, this is Mr. Movie Comic Lover, and I'm here to show you the actual box set and all the features that go with it. I know it's a little bit late, but hey, it's still early enough for you to go take a little history here and there about this awesome box set, you know, until we get ready for Iron Man 3, which comes in May. Um, but until then, we have this delicious box set from Marvel and all the contents to enjoy. And so I'm going to show you everything that this box set has to offer. Um, as you can see, it comes with a very smooth um, briefcase, a replica of Howard Stark's suitcase that somehow goes to Nick Fury. Maybe we'll fi find out later on um, how Howard Stark gives it to S.H.I.E.L.D. or how S.H.I.E.L.D. is made. But we do not know how, you know, Nick Fury got a hold of it. But somehow he does. Um, so it's plastic. It's not an actual, doesn't, it's not an actual, you know, briefcase. But, um, you know, it does have a cool look to it. Another thing is, um, if you look on the side of it, you can uh, see the little handle. You can lift it up. Put it back down. You can, you know, get up and carry it wherever you want. You want to take it to your friend's house for a party and watch the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's pretty cool. You know, I suggest that you don't, you know, leave it in your car. You know, keep it somewhere hidden or some thief will for sure grab this box set and have fun with it. <laughs> Let's just say. Um, it's pretty easy to, um, to open. Um, you know, you have the little latches right here. You don't have to pull or anything. You just... Pretty much um, lift up. Um, let's see. You lift up and easily opens up. And you can close it back, you know, back down and closes. You can hear the click. That's when you know it's closed. You, you see right here? It's a little button that's on the Avengers right here. You push it. When you push it, the light on the middle of the shield logo turns blue. It's pretty cool, huh? I think it's awesome. You know, kind of have a feel that you're part of, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. So, I'm going to lift this up and open the briefcase. And there it is, the Tesseract. Um, you know, a replica of it. And, uh, all the content that's inside it. You can easily, um, grab the Tesseract. not going to shock you or anything. Which will be crazy if it did. You can go to Asgard. But it doesn't do that. Um, see, it's just a plain white um, little box. And if you tap it, you know, really hard. Um, you see. Um, you can. It, it, um, it brightens up. And um, starts flickering. So, um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing is, right here on the sides, you have the the actual movies of the cinematic universe. You know, right here you have um, you have Iron Man. The first, the this is the one that set the stage for everything to come. Um, so yeah, it has it comes with the cool looking, um, um, little disc container. I really like that, you know, it's his um, Mark I suit that he used with the flamethrower. And if you look in the back, you see um, Tony Stark when he's doing the demonstration of the Jericho missile. Um, I think that's pretty cool. You can open it up. And inside, you can, um, you can see the disc. As you can see, I, uh, I'm watching it at the moment. I'm actually... Um, editing it so you guys can see it on um, my channel soon so see it's not there <laughs> um, if you want to read it you can you can um, you can read it Let's see here Iron Man um, it says billionaire industrialist and genius inventor Tony Stark is kidnapped and forced to build a devastated, devastating weapon. Instead, using his intelligence and ingenuity, he 
He builds a high-tech suit of armor and escapes captivity. When he uncovers a nefarious plot with global implications, he dons his powerful armor and vows to protect the world as Iron Man. So that's what it that's what it says there. And then uh it's pretty cool art. I like it. You could put it back in there, it just slips down really easily. You don't have to like force it or anything. The next one is um the Incredible Hulk, which I really think was pretty neat because the the first um D V D had the um the Hulk, but this oh my gosh, this is amazing. You see him with the um it looks like the Battle of Harlem when he uses the cars as boxing gloves. I thought that was pretty cool. And um a really cool art design. You can look in the back and you see the abomination in like fire and he's trampling over uh looks like a car or something, which is pretty pretty neat. I like it. And um you can open that up too. And um see. It comes in the original um disc that comes with the Blu-ray. So don't think it's not gonna, you know, come like anything special which is gonna come the same, just the art of this disc of this folder or case is different. Um the Incredible Hulk. So it says here, after a gamma experiment goes Ari. The brilliant and mild-mannered scientist, Dr. Bruce Banner, finds himself with a peculiar condition. When angered or provoked, he transforms into an uncontrollable green-skinned monster. Now being hunted by a secret military force, Banner desperately searches for a cure to the gamma radiation as poisonous cells and created his alter ego known as the Hulk. It's pretty cool, huh? You can just put it back in there easily. The only problem is be careful because they easily slip out of the cases. Um, and you don't want to scratch your discs. So just keep, just a little warning. Iron Man 2, it's pretty cool art there. You see Iron Man and War Machine, they're fighting together. I thought that was pretty, pretty brilliant to put that in there, put War Machine in there. And then um, in the back, you see the robots that are created by Whiplash. And they're being, um, you know, attacked by Iron Man and War Machine. And they're flying at them. It's pretty cool um, visual action right there. It's like a comic. It's like seeing literally a comic. I'm going to open this up. And that's how the disc looks. It looks like the original Iron Man 2 disc. So if you have the Iron Man 2 movie, it's the same. Um, so Iron Man 2 reads, With the world now aware of his dual life as the armored superhero Iron Man, billionaire inventor Tony Stark faces pressure from the government, the press and the public to share his technology with the military. Unwilling to let go of his invention, Stark with Pepper Potts and James Rhodey Rhodes at his side must forge new alliances and confront powerful new enemies. So, that's Iron Man 2 for you. I'm going to put that 